everybody, and welcome to the CA Talks podcast. I'm your lead host, Ryan Purcell, here with Kevin Carpenter and S- Sebastian Meslin. And today we're going to be discussing community service hours as well as bright futures. Now, to start off with, what are community service hours? They are a measurement of how much time you've taken in order to help out your community as far as volunteering or helping out in in certain organizations and it not only helps you as a student to grow and help help your fellow citizens but (laughs) it also helps because it is a graduation requirement you need 40 hours 40 four zero in order to graduate as well as 75 for a partial Bright Futures scholarship, 100 service hours for a full Bright Futures scholarship, and 250, 250 service hours for a, a silver, silver cord silver at cord. graduation. Mm-hmm. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> yeah. So to start off with, personal growth. I feel that service hours are very good for building good habits as far as you know who you are as a person, as far as wanting to be more helpful to others Mm -hmm. absolutely what have you done for service hours so i actually went the route of um going through clubs and going through um a big a big help of it was um what's called uh handsonbroward.org yes and so this website has many many different opportunities um volunteering at food pantries you've got um garden um garden cleanups you've got um even um beach cleanups God. sorry yeah. beach cleanups beach cleanups yes exactly over the summer they have great programs i you've i've earned i think over 40 hours just from like one week doing it and it was like a great week it helped me it learned a lot start repetition start thinking positively it, hands on broward is the way to go look on their mm-hmm. schedule like they have a huge calendar I can guarantee you, you cannot find a day where they're not doing something. Make sure, I, make sure to look because yeah. there's always something, whether it's at six a.m. or six p.m. Exactly. or three a.m. Like, <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah, I've, like I've five o'clock on, on a there. Monday, they got stuff going on where you can either volunteer <laughs> or you can learn. So, that, yeah, if you have the urge before you come to CA to just give back to the yeah. community, <laughs> it wouldn't be my urge. But <laughs> <laughs> if you do have that beautiful urge, you know, I encourage you to go on Hands On Broward, check it out. Not only that, but there are also a lot of great, um, a lot of great clubs at Broward College and CA. I personally went the route of uh, the Sunflower Committee, and basically we went to Margate Elementary and we volunteered and helped out the teachers handle the kids. I went to this first grade, um, this first grade class. Shout out to Miss Paris if you're watching this by any chance. Um, and I helped out basically for like a good three to four months, um, multiple times a week. I would go there and just help her like, uh, set up papers. Um, I would like help her like just handle the kids because, you know, post COVID, you know, everybody's kind of trying to catch up. So the kids aren't as, um, as developed as they should be as far as like social and like, you know, trying to keep, keep themselves under control. (laughs) And so I, I would go there and I would just, you know, be basically a second teacher. But, you know, there's many, many different things that you can do for service hours. These are just one of many. What would you say you learned from that experience? Um, I would say he's that... He's lost for words. That <laughs> he's, he's just so taken aback yeah. from the incredible experience you of know, doing with five <laughs> I think working with kids. Yeah, you know, I, I did not think that I was going to enjoy that as much as I did, to be totally honest with you. You know, I I, th- I think that it was a great experience, m- mostly because that was really the first time that I did any type of volunteering. The hands-on Broward and everything came later. So I said to myself, you know, this feels pretty good. You know, it's it, it was very much a formative experience for me. Yeah, you learn a lot of that stuff, you know. Sometimes you get so caught up in doing stuff for, you know, whether it be people in your family or for yourself or people in your immediate, your friends. But giving back to your community, not only does it help the community, but you'll also feel that sense of fulfillment within yourself. So I recommend it to anyone. Okay, I got two quick places where you can volunteer. On Central, they have Seahawk Marketplace. I know you guys got free time. I know you guys got an hour to two to kill. Just go sign up really easy. They need your help and it is honestly amazing. And another, I've been volunteering for animal aid at PetSmart since I was in ninth grade. 
So I, I would spend like one or two hours every Saturday or Sunday coming in to help clean cat cages, uh, help get cats adopted. I mean, it is so awesome because the people are nice too. And you don't have to just like show up and clean cages. You can foster cats. You can help um, raise them. It's really a great uh, opportunity and experience and it looks really great if you're going into that veterinary field that you have experience with animals. Absolutely, and in terms of scholarships, in terms of, there's a whole wide range. I mean, we already talked about Bright Futures, mm -hmm. but even the independent scholarships, the $1,000 ones that you, you put off to the side, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I do it too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but they look at that, that's a big thing. It's not only the scores you get, it's also, and this kid has 500 volunteers. <laughs> He's been helping yeah. out everybody. Yeah, so make sure to get involved in, and that's going to help you a lot with scholarships. Two two other good um, opportunities would be the humane, the humane society, the humane society, as well as the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Hospital. Yes, absolutely. Just yeah. So volunteering is great. Even oh, I was going to say this. Service hours look arguably just as good as a score on your SAT. You, cause if you have, you could have a perfect score on the SAT, but if you have zero community service hours, first you're not graduating. <laughs> yeah. Second, second, you look like you're just set at home studying or just gaming all day. And you don't look like someone that these colleges want to accept. So as whenever, as soon as you can, you want to at least hit that 40 and you always want to go for 250 here. Cause here at CA, we go above. And at least beyond. at least look for the 100 hours because mm -hmm. you do not I, I know someone who missed out on the bright futures 100 percent because he didn't get 100 service hours and that's so silly like you yeah. work so hard for the sat and yeah it's 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 a great thing when you're trying to sell yourself as a student to show how good you are because it shows like like you said you like you're not somebody that just goes to school and then goes home you want someone that lives and breathes the community that you're in you want you want to show that you have a burning passion for whatever you, it is you're doing and it looks great on resumes too like even when you're getting a job you know it can it can show an, an employer that hey, you know, this is someone that likes that likes going above and beyond. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're here at CA above and beyond. above and beyond. My last thing we'll say on that is just to find what you like too, because you may not want to clean cat boxes. Yes, <laughs> I'm not I, gonna I, lie. I do not blame you if you don't want to. No, but I, yeah, I got soccer on Saturday. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to go clean cat boxes. But see, Kevin likes that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when you're, Kevin's when, gonna be when there. When you're man. getting that cycle, ladies and gentlemen, you just keep going. When you Petsmart gave him that call at 6 a.m. Yes. to clean cat boxes, oh, Kevin's there. We need, we need um, you. So, we need you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's all gonna pay off because Bright Futures. Bright Futures is where it's at. Now, uh, what is Bright Futures exactly? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Bright, <laughs> Bright Futures, funded by the state of Florida, is a scholarship which awards a 75% or 100% scholarship for whatever... Uh, in-state college. Whatever in-state college. In-state public college. Public college that you choose to um, uh, apply to. And this is, again, governed by your 75 or 100 uh, service hour uh, requirements. And so how do we get that Bright Future Scholarship? Enlighten well, us, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. So you need to get a certain score on the SAT and you need to have a certain amount of service hours. Mm -hmm. I believe for 100% it is 1330 and you need 100 yep. service hours. Mm -hmm. And what is it? for GPA is that, yeah. I don't know that's you, well I but, mean everyone here at yeah, CA should, should have a good it's, enough GPA it's it's 3 3.0 for um the 75% uh it's called the medallion scholars the medallion the scholars. FMS scholarship and then for the FAS which is the 100% scholarship that is 3.5 for the GPA yeah, and it's weighted so I think CA classes would be 4.5 mm -hmm. right. and Regular classes would be 4.0. You just have to get a 3.5, which is doable. If you're passing your classes right now, you're you're still in the running. Yep. And important for the uh, for both juniors and seniors is that you need to complete um, the financial aid application by August 31st of the year of your graduation. Financial aid is going to assist you in more ways than it's than it might seem right now. I think all the seniors know that it was not an easy form to fill out.
But once you know that you have that financial security behind you, then you are then you can still look out to those distant colleges that may seem out of reach. Because here at CA, you should not be worrying about how much money you're paying for colleges, because that's what you're, that's what everyone here at CA is for. Get you scholarships, get you your financial aid, get you whatever you need to go to your dream school and become your the dream person. So you two already filled the the FAFSA. Oh my yeah. God. It was bad. What, what, <laughs> what advice would you give to someone like me who hasn't filled it out? <laughs> fill it out. Fill out the right one. I accidentally filled out the one for last year. Oh. And then I had to fill in it, fill it in all over again. I was I was breaking down at that point. <laughs> oh boy. And have tell your parents that you got to have your tax forms on hand from that the year that they're asking for. Because 2021. Yes, 2021 or for next year 2022. Because. That's what you need to, uh, like, it's telling you how much money you're, they're asking for how much money you're making, how much, how much money you're in assets do you have, you're getting child support. Legal documents. Yes, legal documents, which we will not get into because those are boring. <laughs> but <laughs> just get Say it that done, because it, that's everything here, you, should, you just want to get it done. SAT, get that out. Uh, hours, get that done. So Because in your senior year or, like, the rest of the year for us, you don't want to be burdened by having to go do something when you should be having fun. Yeah, and uh, it seems like, you know, 100 service hours is now hard. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of places that will be so happy for you to volunteer for them. The biggest hurdle will probably be the SAT or the ACT, but once you pass that hurdle, like, you'll realize how much, like, I'm realizing how much of a blessing Bright Futures mm -hmm. can be because there's so many great schools in Florida. You got UF, obviously, FSU, UCF, USF, FIU, the list goes on. Yeah. And I mean, ten, uh, 100 service hours. That's that's 10 hours a, a week. Oh, ten, a week. <laughs> <laughs> ten hours a day. Oh boy, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning cat boxes. Yeah, yeah. man. 100 good, service bro. hours. I just stay without bright future. 10 <laughs> hours a week for 10 weeks. That's less than a semester. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that's only a little more than an hour a day. And guess what? There's I, this. They're not asked me to say this, but. If you find the right people, they will give you extra service hours. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly. Uh, if you've got a good teacher at your old I'm school not, that needs help, no they will sign off on what you need. Uh, but, of course, we're here for honest Legally. service hours. <laughs> uh, yeah. For everyone watching this at home, do your service hours honestly. Honestly. Period. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Bright Futures. Back to Bright Futures. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, what can yeah. you say about it? It's great. So imagine being able to have all of your Florida in-school paid, in-school stuff paid. That's freaking amazing. You can go to whatever college you want. You can go in, in the state of Florida. In the that's state of public. Florida. So FSU, uh, UCF, USF. Yes. And you guys, well, I'm, I'm not going to say you guys, but a lot of people don't realize how hard it is to come by for a full tuition scholarship to a, like a prestigious out-of-state. Yeah. It's hard to come by. They give it to maybe 200 kids per class. 200 out of a 5,000 kid entering class. 2,000 So you got to be us. in the top 200. 200. And you got to impress them in the interviews with Bright Futures. No. You, you get the, the, the score. You get the, the, the service hours. SAT GPA in hours. That's it. That's it. And then you, you just have that comfort knowing, like, I could go to UCF. For free. For free. <laughs> also worth noting is that if you do decide to um, go, go out, out of state, state, it is worth noting that you really should at least apply to one Florida public university in order to actually initiate your bright futures. Because even if you go out of state for a year or two, you can still come back, get the bright futures, still have all that stuff paid. Because guess what? Life happens. You, can, you could be at your dream college and you could hate it. You could be at your dream college and something bad happens here at home. It's just... A way of life and having that security is something very relieving even if you're when you're reaching for the stars like we are here at college academy of brown college also with bright futures i know we talked about how it only applies to public universities but i have heard that for a private university like nova or university of miami that they give a similar amount mm. so that's that too so you, you still get in which is about roughly four thousand five thousand dollars a year which is a lot of money i mean who doesn't, like money. Money. Yeah. Who doesn't like money? Who doesn't like money? All right. And now, <laughs> let's move on to our interview segment, which is not going to be right now because we are going to be interviewing Dr. Weinstein. You can see that right here. 
All right. Hi, Dr. Weinstein. Hello. Um, we have just a few questions for our amazing podcast and our viewers and listeners of CA and beyond. So first, give us some requirements for Bright Futures. All right. Well, we're here at the fabulous Paisley Park in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Dr. Thel and I are at a, a dual enrollment conference, so I'm happy to be recording uh, here with the home of Prince. Uh, Bright Futures, yes, you have a couple of things you need to look at. Uh, one is your grade point average. Uh, students who are looking at the medallion award, the 75% tuition, you need a 3.0 weighted GPA. Those of you looking at the Florida Academic Scholar, the 100% tuition, you need a 3.5 weighted GPA. And in addition to your grade point average, you need the service hour requirement for the medallion, it's 75 hours. And for the academic scholarship, it's 100 hours. And then of course, the more of the challenging eligibility is the test score. And for those of you looking at the medallion, you need either, because it's one or the other, and the Bright Futures does super score. Uh, so you need a 1210 SAT super score or a 25 ACT composite, and they also super score. If, uh, and so those are your eligibility requirements. Awesome, thank you for that information. Do you have any advice for seniors who are trying to reach that 1330 mark? Yes, don't give up. Uh, we have seen a lot of things happen, especially towards the end of the, uh, the semester uh, when students are uh, getting ready to graduate. I think the tension, the pressure gets released. You have a month to really prepare for those June exams. Remember, you have till June uh, to qualify with the exams. And so don't give up and also continue to practice under standard time conditions. Make sure you're timing yourself on the tests. You all know this information. What you need to get used to is actually doing it in the time you're allotted for the test. That's great information. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Next, we have our juniors. They're preparing for the SAT later in the year. What can you tell the juniors? So one, you are only gonna get smarter, I hope, over the next couple of months. So we recommend that you do start looking at the spring exam dates. Uh, unless you've been preparing, you know, I wouldn't worry about trying to rush it in here in the fall semester. I'd love for you to get your PSAT scores back, link it to Khan Academy, do your personalized remediation plan. They'll look at what your weak skills are. You brush up on those and then you start thinking about the spring test dates. Uh, we're gonna give the SAT school day test to every junior for free on Wednesday, March 1. And so we'd love for you to participate in that, get your scores back, and then maybe take it one more time in the spring semester prep up a little more over summer, and then you can take the early fall exams in time to meet any early action, early decision uh, deadline, and uh, then you can continue to work if you need to to increase your score all the way till the end of your senior year in June. So big messages, prepare, remediate, don't give up, stay super positive, and I think the best way to practice is under standard time condition. Time yourself on these tests so you get used to having to work in that time constraint. Um, and then we're all gonna make it, right? 100%. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. That was some awesome information. See you soon. See you soon. All right, and after that fabulous interview, now let's go on to fact or fiction. Yay! <laughs> All right. My part. Fact or fiction. You guys know it. You guys love it. All right, is the show is the part is the segment where we it's ask you is the segment, segment where we ask you a question and you have to choose if it's fact or fiction. Fact or fiction. Now, first question. A Fact or fiction, a Florida resident student who meets all the eligibility requirements is automatically going to receive the Bright Future Scholarship. Cut. False. I mean fiction. Fiction? <laughs> <laughs> fact or cap? Yeah, I think you're yeah, on the true, wrong show, true, man. True or false is, they, they copyrighted that. It's fact or fiction. It's fact yeah. or fact. Yeah, I think it's, it's fiction. 
All right, that is right. It is fact or fiction. Yes. It's, it, I mean, it, it is fiction. It is fact or fiction. <laughs> <laughs> it is fiction. All right, even if you are eligible, you do still need to fill out the appropriate pay. How much, paperwork. How much money do I win? Do I win a scholarship for getting it? You get um, a good feeling in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> well, I get bragging rights. Yes. Mm. If you if you don't fill it out, all you get is um, a little gold star. Cool stuff. You're little, one of like four or five people who've gotten a question right on fact or fiction. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, okay. they're in the one percent. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so if around. if you don't fill it out, you will not get the benefits. Um, you you do require that you do that because you work so hard. Just do it. Get out of the way. And it's super short for bright futures. Right. It's like two, it's like a few questions. That it's you like fill. five minutes. Yeah. So. All right. Number two, fact or fiction. Um, the Florida Medallion Scholarship, it's Bright Futures 100% award, and the FAS is Bright Futures 75% award. Fiction. Fact. No. Florida Medallion. I know he said it, I know he said it, but... Florida Medallion versus Florida the... AS, and which is false because Medallion Scholarship is 75% of tuition paid. Don't be Florida a medallion Academic scholar. Academic scholars, FAS, is a 100%. Exactly, guys, that is guys, don't fiction. Be a Being at Atlantic School. <laughs> what is it called? Florida, Florida Atlantic a, 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 Technical? No, 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 no. no. The, the, the thing, the, the Florida thing. Academic Scholar. Oh, be an academic scholar, not a medallion. Yes. Academic scholar, don't, yes. It's like, don't be a follower, be a leader. Yes, like, exactly. Don't, don't Get be that 100%. Medallion. Yeah. All right, number three, fact or fiction. You do not need any qualifications or skills to volunteer. True. True. Well, actually, fact. false because you need to be able to walk, usually. <laughs> you need to be able to breathe. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I, I, I don't think we're going to I think get breathing I might be you have a, certain, a requirement. I don't think we're getting held up on those technicalities, <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say true. <laughs> Fact. Kevin, you have an oxygen intake certification? E uh, actually, yes. I'm twenty. It's only twenty twenty certified, but uh, oh, you gotta get it re boy. recertified, or you're yeah. gonna die. Revoked. I, I need. I need to get. I need to get. A, I need to get a new certification. <laughs> but we're gonna say fact. You do not need any qual prior qualifications. No, that, that's fiction. Yeah, you don't. It's fiction. You don't need any qualifications. What? Oh shoot! <laughs> what? It's darn. <laughs> the The question was fact or fiction. You do need requirements. You you do not. Oh wait, you need... do not need. Look at this guy. <laughs> Come on. This guy. <laughs> Get him this out guy. of here. Say that it's, wrong. It's 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 switched up yes. on the screen. So yeah. you do not. You do need not need any. any qualifications, qualifications <laughs> to volunteer mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it is as simple as going over and saying hey i want to help out i want to do something what can i do and you know you have to you go in person what are you to do online online application well you should probably go in person to get that locked down again <laughs> check out hands on broward they <laughs> always have something that. going on they always have things <laughs> going anywhere from anywhere from parkland down to like pembroke and yeah Miami. Like, who goes to pembroke right yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the best city. It's the best okay. City. Yeah, don't diss. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, cheap. <laughs> we did it. We, we did it. <laughs> it is time. To it is close time. Close our remarks. No, the podcast <laughs> is ending already. I know, I know, I know. All right, guys. You know, it's it's been great. We we have discussed community service hours. We know what to do. We know how to get them. We know why they're important. We know that community service hours are going to help us grow as people. They're going to help us with our um, with our scholarships. They're going to help us get jobs. They're going to help us in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. To just quick quick recap, animal aid. Uh, Seahawk Marketplace, and you, Sunflower, Humane Society, uh, Sawgrass Hospital, a bunch of other locations. Yes. That I don't know the top yeah. of my head. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> but make sure to always just just get into a rhythm. I think that's the best advice in mm -hmm. terms of volunteer service because you can be like, oh, I'll do it over the summer, and, and then you put and it then the next summer, summer never comes because <laughs> then the summer your friends are like, yo, let's go out tonight. Like, now, now I hope I don't expose anyone here, but I want to know how many service hours do you guys have? The actual or <laughs> actual how or many? incoming? Well, <laughs> both. 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 I have sixty-one registered, and I have one hundred and seven coming. Nice. Uh, 107 more no, coming? No, no, no. Oh. I wish, bro. I wish. Maybe so. Because I got some. I helped out in the General Assembly, so I'm going to get mm -hmm. some for that. But 
107, like, I already gave the papers and I just... Yeah, yes. uh, it's just pending but, right But now. what do you... You guys will probably blow me out the water. No, how did you, you go, lead host? <laughs> well, guys, I'm I'm sorry to blow you out of the water, but I got my 250. Oh, I got my 250. Oh, yep, I'm, I'm tapping out. Oh, thank you. No, right thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Big mention. All right. What's the number? Okay, so I have 167 in right now, and I have another 30 coming in, so that's going to be over 200. Nice. Hopefully, of course, I'm, I'm still working every Sunday. Hopefully, again, some more hours, so I might be able to meet that 250. Yeah, again, that, that silver cord, it might not be much, but it certainly is a good bragging right. Yes. How many other friends do you know that are graduating right now who have 250 hours? Comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it comes. laughs> All right. And then we discuss bright futures. Right. You know, it's it's the state of Florida. We're the sunshine state. We're keeping out for you guys. You know, you do the hours. You get the uh, the ACT or SAT requirements. You and get the GPA. the GPA. All right, guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get that money, you know? Yeah, get that radio. It's so easy. It's so easy. Everyone loves free money. Free money. Cause you're a CA student, lock that in. We we're we're easy going. Locking. You got lock it in. <laughs> lock, lock it in. in. <laughs> and I believe that'll do it for us. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching everybody. I've been Ryan Purcell. Kevin Carpenter. Sebastian Mesler. Thanks for watching. Thanks. See ya! Awesome.